Hey everyone, it's Kaizen here. So uh, we finished off our night at the tavern with the Crimson Cloaks and everyone seems super eager to help us with this vestige of divergence thing that Zell found at the festival. Ao thought it would be a great chance to become some famous adventurer while Irvon just seemed to want to flip it for some gold. So we all decided that we would work together to free this Elixion guy that reached out to Zell through the amulet. After we settled that, Irvon got us another round of drinks, and Maggie wrote us a super sweet poem, and then we went to bed. Zell wanted me to sleep in his room to be on guard since it was pretty clear that some of the other people had eyes for the vestige. So I slept by the door to block it, and ended up having some really strange dreams that night. Probably should have told the others about it, but... Zell woke me up suddenly saying that the amulet was missing and we noticed someone broke in through the window. At first I thought all of the Crimson Cloaks betrayed us, but it turns out it was just Irvon who spiked our drinks and went rogue, so... It was clear that he had a big lead on us, so while we were hatching a plan of what to do next, Zell was talking to one of the elders who had a vision about us. This Elixion really wants our help, it seems, because they even told the Elder so through this vision. Zell said he talked to the gods. Uh, not sure what that's about, but they told them that Irvon might be a servant of the Betrayer gods, which means he probably doesn't want to just sell this thing. The Elder pointed us towards Bazozan to find Irvon since it's the closest city where he could find a buyer for the amulet, or at least a temple to a betrayer god. So, we gathered our stuff, we got some mounds, which, oh, Ao, she got us these more bounders, and they're so cool, and I cannot wait to get to know mine better. But, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all that happened. Um, not sure how to finish these things, do I, do I just?